Hey guys, Bud Buddy here, and uh, this is my first video in a series that I'm going to do uh, about tutorials for redstone. So, you uh, you see uh, that I'm looking at an iron door right now. Iron doors are special because, unlike wooden doors, if you cook them, they won't open. Uh, the only way to open an iron door is to emit electrical signal to them, and uh, there are only four objects in the game that can uh, emit electrical signals. Levers, pressure plates, buttons, and redstone torches. Today we're only going to look at levers and redstone torches, so let's get started. You see that I have a lever in my hand, and uh, if I place it next to the door like so, it uh, will open the door and close the door when I click it. You see, down is open, so down is emitting electrical signal, and up is closing the door, so it stops emitting electrical signal. Uh, I can put the lever anywhere near the door, and it will still open, as you can see. Uh, we can even put it on the floor in front of the door. Pretty sure we can put it here. Uh, the only places we can't put them is uh, places that are one block, well, yeah, one block away from the door. So, uh, here, this is actually one block away because it ha the signal has to travel through this block before getting to the door. Or, here. So, the lever has to be on, the on a block adjacent to the door or it won't work. This can become a problem because sometimes you want to have a lever here to open that door here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use redstone, which is this dust. So you probably already have some redstone. It can be found in caves, mining with uh, an iron pickaxe or more or better. So uh, if you right click on the floor with redstone, you'll notice that it leaves red dust. And uh, if you break that, uh, you'll get it back. It's 100% uh, recyclable, so it's great. You can make mistakes and just get it right back. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to link this redstone dust to the door by placing blocks next to it. As you can see, when I place down the blocks, it uh, links uh, redstone in a straight path to towards the other redstone. If I put some redstone here, it'll change and uh, adapt to be able to uh, send electricity elsewhere and receive electricity from other places, but we'll see that later. So here I go, and uh, right now I have a little path of redstone, and when I put the switch next to the redstone and turn it on, boom. You can see it turns red, kind of sparkles a little bit, and the door opens. So if I turn off my switch right now, the door will close door open, door close. So this is an, ex an effective way to uh, activate things from afar. At the moment I don't th think there are a lot of objects in Minecraft that can receive output. Mostly just doors and uh, minecart tracks, stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna learn about the OR gate next. Uh, the OR gate. What, are, what, what is a gate? What, why am I saying OR gate? Uh, or, an OR gate is a logic gate, uh, and logic gates are basically, you've probably heard of them, they're, uh, uh, they're cir redstone circuits that can receive one or more inputs uh, and transform those into one or more outputs. So right now we're only going to focus on gates that uh, take in two inputs and release one output. That's uh, really the simplest that you can have. So uh, I want uh, my door to open when this switch turns on or when this switch turns on. That's why we call it an OR gate, the switch or the switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my redstone into two paths and link each one towards uh, my lever. So as you can see, this lever will activate the redstone and this lever will too. Ta-da! So right now, uh, whenever one of the levers is on, the door will open. And if I turn both levers on, it's still the door is still going to open. So as long as one of the levers is on, you can't uh, change the output with the other one. It's always going to be on. So the, the only time the door is ever closed is when both uh, levers are off. So 
that's how you make an ore gate just uh, split splitting the redstone circuit into two it's very simple now we're gonna learn about redstone torches because uh, uh, redstone torches are the basics of all uh, redstone circuits in, mine in Minecraft when you get uh, more complicated. So I'm going to place this down and as you can see it's glowing and uh, making s emitting some signal just like redstone dust would. You can see there's little fragments coming off right there. And what that means is that it's emitting electrical power. So if I place my redstone down it will receive power from this torch. So right now I linked it up to my uh, original redstone circuit here and uh, the door is opening. Now the problem with uh, torches is that see if I click it it just breaks. It's just like redstone dust. The only thing it can do is emit uh, emit power when it's not uh, be when it's not being affected by other things. So uh, let's see let's see uh, what, how redstone torches react uh, to redstone dust. So, redstone torches placed on the ground emit, red, emit power to redstone dust on all four sides. They do not emit power to redstone dust on the corners, as so you can see. It doesn't do anything. Uh, but what's interesting is if you place a block over your redstone torch, like so, and put a bit of redstone dust on top. Your redstone here. Let me just get up there so you guys can see. Your redstone dust will turn on. So redstone torches can emit power to redstone dust one block above. As you can see, redstone dust does not. So that can be useful for transmitting power vertically. Now let's look how uh, a redstone torch acts when it's on the ground, but not uh, on the block. So let's put this redstone torch on a block, and we are going to put it on the side of the block, like so. On this side of the block, it emits power to these three uh, redstone uh, circuits, but it doesn't, as before, reach anything here. The redstone torch does not emit power to the top of the block either, or around it, you know, only here. That was weird. I didn't want to show you guys that. So, whoa, it turned off. It's a little bug. There we go. That's how it should be. Alright, so now we're going to see how redstone torches, because right now all I showed you is that redstone torches emit power. So you're going to ask me, well, how does that help uh, in redstone circuits, you know? Okay, I'd rather have a switch. Well, redstone torches act uh, differently when facing uh, input from a switch. So, if you look here, I'm going to place this redstone torch, and I'm going to link it up with the door, and then I'm going to place a lever here, I'm going to link up that with uh, the redstone torch. And you're going to see the door is open because the redstone torch is emitting power. And when I switch the switch, nothing happens. So that's kind of normal, you know, the redstone torch emits power. Uh, you, you think that's how it should be. Now, if I place this redstone torch on a block, right here, and then I link up some redstone circuit 3 and put a lever in the middle, in the middle, <laughs> on the end. Uh, when I turn on that lever, something weird happens. The redstone torch turns off. When the redstone torch is on, it uh, doesn't affect any of the circuitry because it's on top of a block. So redstone torches cannot output uh, electric electrical signals to the, the bottom of blocks, but they can receive electrical input from the bottom and turn off. Uh, now that isn't very helpful unless of course you do this because redstone can climb on top of blocks it, like so. So now when I click my redstone lever, uh, my lever, it stops putting input towards the torch. The torch turns on, turns on that redstone right here, which emits power all the way down here to my door. Hooray! So this is a little bit different than before. Now 
my door turns on when the lever turns off. Still the same basic thing, but... So that's what we call an inverter. It inverts the signal. What you get out is the opposite of what you put in. Uh, an easier inverter to build is this one. When placing redstone torches on side of the block, they can still receive input from this side, from this side, and from this side. So if we put if we input some uh, power, you'll see that the redstone torch turns off. So that's your inverter. It's very nice. Now, let's try something else. I want my lever to be a lot farther because I have a control room somewhere over there. I want it to open this door. So let's go do that. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Place my lever down and switch it on. What happens? My door isn't opening. And if we look here, redstone isn't emitting uh, to this part. Now this looks really bad because you actually got two blocks switching, so you might think, oh, that's the reason. Dirt and grass, no. That doesn't change anything. Redstone power can only travel 15 blocks. We can count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, how are we going to emit uh, power to that side of the door from here? And uh, the way you have to do it is use a repeater. So what's a repeater? A repeater is a device that enables to length that enables uh, lengthening the signal from uh, this switch. So when we turn it off, it'll still be off, but when we turn it on, it'll carry the power longer. How do you make a repeater? Is uh, basically two inverters because. Uh, simple math here, if you invert the signal twice, it should go back to normal. So here the redstone torch is receiving power, so it turns off. And now let's make another uh, inverter here, which will invert this not off power to on. So there we go. It works very nicely, and we like the way it looks. Uh, well, I like the way it looks, you might not. Uh, and uh, when we turn off this switch, as you can see, this inverter inverts the signal to on, which inverts this signal to off. So it works very well. Uh, there is a more comp there is like the other one, a more compact uh, version of the repeater. If you need uh, it to fit in a smaller space, which is two blocks. As you can see here, we have our first uh, inverter. And this redstone torch takes power, power from this uh, piece of redstone and emits off power. So there you have it. Small compact repeater. <laughs>